so here we are with another question on diode equation so the question is at what voltage what applied voltage the reverse current flowing through a diode germanium germanium diode will reach 80% of its saturation value at room temperature okay so this is the question so before uh, going any forward first thing whenever you come across any question related to diode equation first thing which you have to do is write the diode equation okay so then you can figure out what is being asked how can i proceed forward okay this this is the diode equation so here i is the diode current i0 is the reverse saturation current v is the applied voltage across the diode eta is the ideality factor and v subscript t that's the thermal voltage this these are the uh, specific uh, things which are involved in the diode equation now it has been given that the diode is germanium so here the ideality factor will be equal to 1 for germanium it is 1 for silicon it is 2 then uh, this is the reverse saturation current and Vt is the thermal voltage which is taken as 26 millivolt. According to the question, the diode current, okay, the diode reverse current which is flowing that is equal to 80% of the reverse saturation current that is 0.8 I0 so this current in place of I we will write it as minus 0.8 I0 why because reverse current is being mentioned reverse current if it would have been forward current it would have been plus but as it is reverse in place of I we will have to write minus 0.8 I0 80% of the reverse saturation current and it has been asked this at what applied voltage the reverse current flowing through the diode will be 80 percent of the saturation value so here that means minus 0.8 i0 is equal to i0 e to the power v by eta vt minus 1 okay so here that implies 0 0.8 i0 by i0 is equal to e to the power v by eta vt minus 1 okay that implies 1 this minus 1 when goes to the left hand side becomes plus 1 minus 0 0.8 is equal to e to the power v by eta vt that implies 0 0.2 is equal to e to the power v by eta vt so if we take log to the base e natural logarithm on both sides we will have okay both sides ln 0 0.2 equal to ln e to the power v by the vt that implies this is how much minus 1 point 
is equal to v by eta v t because ln is equal to 1. So that implies v by eta v t is equal to this much. Now we will substitute the values. v we have to calculate eta is equal to 1, v t is equal to 26 millivolt which is 0 0.026 volt. So that implies v by 1 into 0 0.026 is equal to minus 1.60943. That implies V is equal to minus 1.60943 into 0 0.026 which is equal to it is coming around minus 0 0.04184 like that so we can write it as minus 0 0.042 volt okay this so at this much voltage applied voltage the reverse current flowing through the diode will reach 80 percent of its reverse saturation value this So here the concepts that are important is first there has been nothing mentioned about ideality factor simply it is mentioned germanium so you have to remember that when germanium is mentioned its ideality factor is equal to 1 for silicon it is 2 next you have to remember that thermal voltage is equal to 26 millivolt next is you have to remember the this diode equation because if you forget it then you cannot do anything about this question or any diode uh, current related question and remaining was just simple calculation okay basic uh, mathematical calculations that we performed and we got the result but the conceptual part is that you have to remember the ideality factor is one for germanium and you have to remember the basic data uh, the constant parameters thermal voltage is equal to 26 millivolt uh, ideality factor and all that okay and remaining it is just basic mathematical calculations okay so this is the answer